Good morning, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. Today is July the 10th, 2022. This is a Sunday morning here in West Michigan. It is 9.18 in the morning. We're going into double digits for the month of July. And uh, it's a Sunday morning. My wife left to go to church. They have prayer meeting before the main service. And my my wife went, and I am sitting, <coughs> as I my habit is, is sitting in the dining room in the mornings, waking up. It takes me time I wake up. It's noon time, and then from about one until four or five, I'm I go into a dive, and I get really sleepy. What I ought to be doing is going for walks or exercises or doing something. I just lay around here. But in the mornings I write in my diary. I'm always writing in my diary. I'm on page 625. for the year 2022. We're halfway through the year. And yeah. This morning, I'm reading the Reformation Commentary on 2 Corinthians. I'm reading on 2 Corinthians chapter 1. I'm on verse 24 of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 24. Not that we have dominion over your faith, but our fellow workers for your joy for by faith you stand. So that's where I'm at in 2 Corinthians. I'm kind of I'm kind of out of it this morning. I really can't focus. I don't know what it is. I what I ought to do, like I said, I should go for a walk in the mornings, wake myself up, and I'm just getting more lethargic as I get older. But what I thought I'd do in this video, <coughs> excuse me, is um, the used books are piling up <laughs> downstairs in the lower level. Um, uh, and I thought what I would do is show you some books. Uh, I showed you a couple of videos ago those books on books I bought from the book nook. Now the Book Nook is the local library used bookstore. Used bookstore. It's a small little place. You can see videos of it in my in my YouTube uh, channel. But I bought these books at the Book Nook, and they've been piling up. And I thought I'd show them to you. These are ones I got at the Book Nook, and uh, at the same time I bought those books on books, and. The first book is a book I had already in a beat up old paperback, which I, um, and I, but this copy came in. It's considered a classic. It's called The Org the, Org the Organizational Man by William H. Witt, the book that de defined a generation. And it's a kind of a classic. I remember reading it when I was like, in high school and college and uh, I had an old copy of it. This was first published in 1956. So I got this from the book nook. Uh, check it out. It's a landmark book from the 1950s. And then this book came into the book nook. Uh, as you know, uh, my teenage years and early 20s. I was born in Oakland, California, but I lived all over the place growing up. Norfolk, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Maryland, Oregon, uh, Los Angeles, uh, Carson City, and there in the L.A. area. But uh, from about when I was 17, 16, 17, up until my Oh, I think I must have been in my late 20s. I lived in the Bay Area. I was born in Oakland, but, but I, it's a long story. You've heard it. But anyway, Berkeley was my stomping grounds in high school in my, in my 20s. 
And this is Berkeley, A City in History by Charles Wollenberg. Berg. And I collect books on Berkeley, the San Francisco. There's a chapter in here on the heritage of the 60s. Anyway, it's a, it just came into the book nook and I picked it up. This is Leaving Town Alive, Confessions of an Arts Warrior. It's like a memoir by John Frommemeyer, former chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, so I picked up this memoir. It's in perfect condition. Um, I won't go into it, but I picked that up at the book nook, Leaving Town Alive. And this is a book, uh, The Freemasons, A History of the World's Most Powerful Secret Society by Jasper Riley. I collect books like this, Secret Societies. I didn't have anything on the Freemasons, and this came into the book nook. I collect books on cities. This is on Athens by John Robin War Waterfield, From Ancient Idea to Modern City, A History of Athens, Greece. Uh, so I picked that up. This is on Prague in black and gold, scenes from the life of a European city by Peter Demonis. Uh, I like reading European history through the the history of cities like Berlin, uh, Paris, Prague, uh, cities like that. And this came into the book nook on Prague. Scenes from the life of a European city by Peter Demonis. So. This is in Kiev, in Ukraine, A Portrait, 1800 to 1917 by Michael H. Haim, Kiev. So that came into the, the book nook. This is... Uh, the Stones of Malzik, a French village in time. It's like looking at this French village and its history uh, by uh, John Merriman. I, it look, I like reading French history and it looks at the history of this village from the time of the French Revolution up into modern times. So I got this at the book nook. This is a different book. I, I like reading books on economics. <laughs> and so this is called The Moral Consequences of Economic Growth by Benjamin M. Freeman. Yeah, I don't know. Just, just grab my attention. This was published in two thousand five. Uh, I don't know. It just looked interesting. America in the post-war, America in the post-war era, the Great Depression, the Great Exceptions from F, from Theodore Roosevelt to the from Theodore Roosevelt to FDR. Oh, just looking at economics and growth in America and France and other countries. Just looked interesting. And then I picked up at the book nook, The Annotated Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Uh, as you all know, I collect Mark Twain, and this came into the book nook, and I bought it. And uh, 
I haven't read Huckleberry Finn since I was 10, but I couldn't pass this up. Beautiful edition of Huckleberry Finn, American classic by Mark Twain. This is annotated Huckleberry Finn, Mark Twain, edited with an introduction and notes by Michael Patrick Hearn. So these are the books that came into the book nook. Moral Consequences, Economic Growth by Benjamin M. Freeman. History of a French Village, Stone, The Stones of Belazook, Zach Belazook. This is really on the news. Kev, 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 Kiev, 1800 to 1917, a portrait by uh, Michael F. Ham. History of Prague. Uh, by. Uh, Peter M. Demsdix, Dem Scenes from the Life of European City, Prague in Black and Gold. History of Athens, Greece, From Ancient Idea to Modern City, A History by Robin Waterfield. Book on the Freemasons, His A History of the World's Most Powerful Secret Society by Jasper Redley. Redley. A memoir, Leaving Town Alive, Confessions of an Arts Warrior, former chairman of the National Endowment for the Arts, uh, John Fr Fremenmeyer, a uh, little history of Berkeley, California, by uh, Charles Wollenberg, and then The Organizational Man. Classics from the 50s, William H. White. So I just thought I'd show these to you because I have to get, they're piling up down the lower level, all the used books, and I want to put them away, put them in their place. So that's what's going on. It's a new week. It's a Sunday. Tomorrow I volunteer at the Book Nook. And I have books set aside, Ernie American Colonial History, primarily it came into the book nook last week, and I bought some of those. I think I showed those, some of those I got. I can't remember what the last video I made, what I showed. So, I can put these away now. I still got a lot of more used books downstairs that I have not shown. When I, when I go to my therapy session this week, after I go there, the, down the block is a thrift store, the Humane Society, you know, like um, raising money for dogs and cats. And, you know what I'm talking about. I always go there after my session. And last time I went, I got a bunch of books I haven't shown, a big, a big stack of books I bought there that I'll show in a future video. And then I got local thrift stores, Salvation Army, uh, Goodwill, Action House, Bibles to Mexico. And my wife also has bought me some used books that I got to show in a video. So they're always pouring in. I, I got a comment this morning. Do, do you read all the books that you show in your videos? No, I don't. I just collect books. And some I read, I just like books. And uh, I have the room, I, ha I have the financial resources. I mean, all these books didn't cost me anything. Most of these books cost two, three dollars, five dollars. I probably spent, the Huckleberry Finn cost me four dollars. I think the rest cost me two dollars so so but I don't buy new books I can't afford them I buy old used books 
and all the money from the book nook goes to the library, scholarships, and uh, so it all goes to the library, public library, their programs, which we support. So I hope you have a good reading week. I thank you for the comments. Thank you for your subscribing. I do pray you're all doing well. And I'll sign off. Until next time, bye.